good morning. Lily was a donated cat. She is very happy to be in a home. She was once thrown in the streets, beaten with a bat, and she was hung by barbed wire. It wasn't until earlier this year in March where she was found on the side of the road. Apparently she got run over partially or an animal of some sort had hurt her. She now has three legs. The Carbon County Friends of Animals is found on Route 209 in Jim Thorpe. It's a nonprofit organization. It's private. But you see Carbon County, they take care of unwanted animals and unwanted people that have unwanted pets, they take them there. We must take unwanted animals to the Carbon County Friends of Animals. They will help the animals. And we shouldn't throw the cats in the streets or do any sorts of damage to them. We will, I'll tell you exactly what the Carbon County Friends of Animals is, how they are an important organization, and how you can help them join. Just because the Carbon County Friends of Animals is the carbon part of it, is in their name, doesn't mean that they receive any government funding. All their donations and Everything else is all private. The adoptions and the donations are what help the shelter run. The cost to care for the cats and the, the kittens that are there is a lot. And just because of that, they have to buy like litter and food and plus that they have the lights in there and they have to pay the people that work there and payroll and supplies. It's a lot. They provide their own funding. They have fundraising, they have donations and adoptions. They also have a spade and neuter program. It's $50 for spading and neutering and they have declawing as well. That's $65. Their goal is to keep unwanted animals. They house over 50 kittens and cats in such a small space and their declining in the spading is just a you know a little bit of something that they do. People take their unwanted animals there. But like say if they take a dog there, they take it to the correct facility that it belongs to because they treat animals as they ought to be treated. People stop by often and they look at the cats and the animals there. All because of certain had it advertised in the newspaper. I have, like back in 2001, I brought a cat there. Her name was Susie. She was one of the smallest cats there, but now she's one of the biggest. <laughs> but like people don't always buy the same exact cat that's in the newspaper because there's so many cats there. And also people all over the area go there for their 50 out, mostly seniors. For their 50 plus hours of community service, they go there because they help. it helps themselves and the people of the shelter. And it's fun. You get to meet a lot of new people. Um, there's always new people willing to help and volunteer and donate. If you're interested, here's what you can do to help. Their phone number is 325-9400. You can call them and ask them what they need, like litter or cat food or whatever it is. And you can check their website at www.ccfoa.info. Bearing change is also a good way. Like, a couple summers ago, my cousins and I, we used to run, in the summer, we used to um, run a lemonade stand. And we would sell just lemonade and pretzels. And when we were done with that, we donate our change to, it was like $30 or more. We donated to the Carver County Friends of Animals. We got on TV 13 twice. It was a big help to them. <laughs> um, if you see a stray cat or her cat, or someone does not wish to have a cat, 
Just take it to the Kaiser County Friends Available. They'd be sure to take it in. Last but not least, volunteering. All you have to do is go to the shelter or call up and say you wish to volunteer. Give them the hours or the days or the times, and ta-da, there you go. You just have helped a lot. Lily is now three years old. Back in March, she was still at the shelter. People in the shelter shaved her hair, and now all her hair has grown back. Someone adopted her since then, and she's now in a nice home. So keep that in mind, there are some cruel animal owners out there in this world. And the Carbon County Friends of Animals is a very generous organization that is keeping up to eliminating animal cruelty. They're also, they are also a very important organization to keep in mind. And when it comes to spading and neutering, it's also close to home and it saves time and money without going to a vet and paying a fortune. Thank you.